All right, welcome back. Um, this is the second video showing you kind of like uh, these Actronics linear actuators. Uh, the last one I did was the PQ12s, the small little 20, uh, 22 uh, millimeter stroke. These are the larger. Um, they come in a what was it? Uh, gosh, hold on, let me see here. Uh, lengthwise 30, 50, 100 millimeters and then they vary from uh, 5 pounds up to 18 pounds depending on the gear ratio uh, like I was talking about with the other the other ones so let me uh, show you what you get here back to the board do 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 alright so typical tube like the rest uh, like the PQ12's come in it's your typical hardware mounting. Uh, this same type screws has some couple mounts in there. Has a uh, different uh, ends uh, that you because this little end will screw off, and you can put different types on. And then you also have a, a square mount. It's kind of hard to see, but it'll actually slide, and it's you know square because of the actual output shaft is is square. So it, you can mount like put a mount back here, and then you can stabilize it up here however you want because the only part that really extends is the round portion in here um, same on the voltages 6 to 7.4 volts this is a 6 volt version uh, so you have no problem running your typical RC type uh, power um, I wouldn't do anything over you know your 7.4 volt stuff uh, per the per what the factory said so the uh, same thing, like I mentioned before, typical applications you see on these are, are sliding canopies, uh, opening canopies like on your jets, speed brakes. Uh, you can use some of the smaller ones like maybe like the, um, the 30 millimeter you know, length for your gear doors uh, or something like that. And this big guy, which is the 100 millimeter, uh, weighs 57 grams. Uh, which is really light and if you remember from the other video you throw in you know your little air valve and just a couple of the accessories and you're already heavier than this guy plus there's no air leaks which is a good thing um, so let me plug this guy in show you like I did the last one kinda give you turn the radio on here the receiver in typical Fataba style uh, three wire white red and black comes with your uh, more of a generic type uh, Fataba well uh, wire in there so it'll fit your Fataba and JR so you plug this guy in oh so there you go I had this all right so this is the 100 to 1 ratio. Like I said, this is, seems like everybody, most everybody gets this one for their canopy open and close. Uh, if you're going to do a speed brake, depending on the size of the speed brake and how much, you know, force you're going to need, is all going to be dependent on what you want for your, your gearing. Plus, you know, uh, the higher torque uh, actuators. Uh, are still fast, but you can obviously, you know, like I said, the higher you go, the slower they're going to be. Uh, so anyway, so I, I put this one just like on the on the PQ12s. I got it on a slider switch, a slider on my radio. So that's full in, and same thing with the PQ12s. You can adjust endpoints. So here, I'll go and do that just to kind of show you guys. So you go to your endpoints, and let's see, I got this too. So you want to make it, you know, make it where it doesn't go as far, or if you want to make it a little further on its endpoint, you can do that. And then the same for your uh, center point. So it's proportional. So I'm gonna slide it open. Oop, there's my midpoint. And then if you need to adjust, like if you wanted to have it on like a three position, or like on, put something like put these on you like the wings of the F14, because I'm thinking about I'm gonna switch mine out. Uh, that way I can kind of have like that mid position. Uh, and fly the the wings kind of like a halfway swept versus full swept like the real one did. So you can go to sub trim, you know, and then there you go. 
you can you know fine tune that that middle point if you need to and then of course nice and smooth slow scale you know don't have that jerky motion like and once these things moved because it's like a worm drive I think you know you can put as much force on it you, you want it doesn't then buzz or it's not it's not putting any force on the motor you know so I mean once it's in its position and moved I mean it's you're not you know you're not compressing it so once it's locked or once it stops moving it's staying there the only way to get it to to go back in is to have voltage on it and make the motor bring it back in so pretty neat stuff you know and these are these are nice and small you know you got some of these big uh, depending on I don't have a, a canopy air valve but I got one of the one of these that you would normally use on a big gear door and you can see I mean like I said usually when you get a canopy open cylinder it's a it's about the same length you know and it actually this thing is not much much lighter than this guy so you can kind of see the weight advantages plus like I said these are about uh, depending on which size you get they're a few dollars more than the, the PQ-12s but not much I mean you know 73, 75, you know, pretty close. And then, you know, like I said, these things are 130 just for an air valve. You know, 30, 40 more dollars for that stuff, you know, depending on what air cylinders you're running. Wow. Air cylinders running, you know, they vary from 20 to 40 bucks. So, uh, it's an option for you guys. Uh, but that's it. Just wanted to show you this. I had an L16. Uh, which is, you know, you can get a L16 in the same length, and the only difference you'll see a lot on those is a bigger motor. You know, just beefier motor because they have the ability to go up to 48 pounds or something like that. So, uh, a buddy of mine bought one. Um, uh, excuse the noise, I'm outside in the trailer. Um, buddy of mine bought one for his speed brake on an F. 15 he's building and it's a big one so it requires quite a bit of torque because uh, a lot of times they don't make the geometry um, you know to help so you really need a bit of push uh, that is about it so if you need anything you know have any questions just you can post onto the the video link you can go Facebook page and I think it's uh, uh, Finnerbean slash Actronics, uh, Actronics, or you can go to the BrainCube website, www.braincubelights.com, and you can play with all the different uh, ratios and lengths on there. It just it's just selectable, so you go into the the P uh, P12 or the L12. Sorry, I keep saying P L12, and then it has an option to select gearing. It it'll tell you how much how much force each gearing ratio has. And I also have videos to kind of compare, because a lot of a lot of times guys were, are, are not really sure how fast they want it. So that's why I put the the videos on the Facebook page to kind of show people laid next to each other. You know, same stroke length, but the speed is going to be different depending on the ratio. So um, if you guys need anything, let me know. Uh, Till next time, you have a good one.